This is a distance measurement system that allows you to visualize the distance of an object in front of the sensor by lighting up the dots on the matrix. The closer the object, the more columns on the display will light up. Now let's dive in. For this project, we'll need an Arduino Uno board, small breadboard, one ultrasonic sensor, HC SR04, 8x8 dot matrix display with Mac 7219 driver, some male to male jumper wires, a USB cable. First, we will understand the main component, 8x8 dot matrix display. This display consists of an array of 64 LEDs arranged in a 8x8 grid and it is used to visually represent the data. The 8x8 dot matrix display typically has 16 pins in total, 8 pins on each side, used to control the individual LEDs in the grid. These pins are used to send signals to the display to turn the LEDs on or off to form various patterns and outputs. These 8 pins are usually associated with the rows of the 8x8 display. R1 pin to control the LEDs in the first row, R2 for LEDs in the second row. Likewise, R8 for LEDs in the 8 row. These 8 pins are used to control the columns. The matrix will send the current to this column based on the data being fed from the driver. C1 to control the LEDs in the first column, C2 for the second column, till C8 for the 8th column. The combination of these rows and column signal is what form the patterns and images on the matrix. The MAX 7219 driver IC is used to control 8 by 8 dot matrix display by managing both the rows and column pins. It reduces the number of connections required to control the display and makes it easier to interface with the Arduino. The MAX 7219 has 10 pins in total, 5 input pins used to interface with the microcontroller Arduino, 5 output pins used to connect and control 8 by 8 dot matrix display. Input pins, VCC, it needs to be connected to the 5 volt of your Arduino, GND should be connected to the GND of your Arduino, DIN data in. This pin receives data from the Arduino to control the LEDs on the display. It is connected to the Arduino's MOSI master out slaving pin that is pin D11 on Arduino. CS chipset. This pin tells the MAC 7219 when to start receiving data. It is connected to a digital pin on the Arduino like pin 10. CLK that is clock. This pin synchronizes the data transmission. It tells MAC7219 when each bit of data is received. It connects to the Arduino SCK, that is serial clock pin, which is D13. Now let's see the output pins. CLK, that is clock. The second CLK pin is used for synchronizing the display. It is an output pin that drives the clock signal to the 8x8 matrix. CS, that is chipset, the second CS pin is also used to control the display, especially the chipset select line of the 8x8 matrix. D out, that is data out pin, sends the data out to the next MAX 7219 in KC12 DC chain multiple displays. It is typically not used when you are using just one display. GND needs to be connected to the ground of your circuit, typically to the Arduino's GND. VCC pin provides power to the MAX 7219 and the display. It should be connected to 5 volt. The MAX 7219 controls which LEDs light up in the 8 cross 8 dot matrix. It shifts the data from Arduino to the matrix using DIN and clock. CS is used to select which device is being communicated with in case of multiple displays. The MAX 7219 can control up to 8 digit or 8 by 8 matrices, which is why it's perfect for controlling a single 8 cross 8 matrix display. Now let's move to the connection part. First of all, take the Arduino and breadboard, insert ultrasonic sensor on the breadboard, connect this VCC to the Arduino's high volt pin, connect the TRIG pin to the Arduino's pin 3, connect the ECO pin to Arduino pin 4, connect its GND to the Arduino's GND pin, connect 8 cross 8 dot matrix with MAX 7 to 1 line, insert this input pin in breadboard, connect its first pin that is VCC to 5 volt of the Arduino, next connect its GND to Arduino's GND, Connect the DIN pin to matrix to Arduino pin 11. Connect the CS pin to Arduino pin 10. Connect the CLK pin to Arduino pin 11. Make sure to double check your connection with the circuit diagram. Now download the code and library files given in the description below. Open the code file in the Arduino IDE. First we include the LED control library. This library is essential because it simplifies communication between Arduino and the MAC 7219 driver which controls the LED matrix. Next, we define the trigger and echo pins for the ultrasonic sensor. 
the trigger pin sends a sound pulse and the echo pin receives the reflected pulse to calculate the distance. Here we create an instance of the LED control library. We define the pins DIN that is data in to pin 11, CLK clock to pin 13 and CS chip set to pin 10. The last number 1 indicates we are using one MAC7219 driver. In the setup function, we define the trigger pin as output and the echo pin as input. Then we initialize the LED matrix by turning it on using shutdown 0, comma, false. Setting brightness using set intensity 0, comma, 8. 8 is medium brightness. Clearing any previous display with clear display 0. Now let's create a function to measure distance using the ultrasonic sensor. First we send a low signal to the trigger pin and wait for 2 microseconds. Then we send a high pulse for 10 microseconds followed by a low signal. Finally, we use pulsing function to measure how low the echo pin stays high and convert it to centimeter using the formula. Distance equals to time into speed of sound divided by 2. This function turns on LED in column based on distance measured. First, we clear the display using i0.clear display function. Then we use a loop to turn on all rows in the selected number of columns. This creates a bar graph effect where more column lights up as the object moves closer. Finally, in the loop function, we get the distance using get distance function. If the object is very close, less than 5 cm, we turn all 8 columns. Otherwise, we use the map function to convert distance between 5 cm and 40 cm into values ranging from 8 columns to 1 column. We use constraint function to limit the values between 1 and 8 ensuring proper visualization. The function turn on column function is called to update the LED matrix display. We add a small delay of 100 milliseconds to make the transition smooth and that's it. Now connect the Arduino Uno to your computer using the USB cable for uploading the code. Select port and board in the same menu and select Arduino Uno. Now click on the upload button and see the output. If we place an object very close, all LEDs will light up. As we move the object away, the number of columns gradually decreases indicating increasing distances. This project can be extended and modified in different ways. We can use multiple 8x8 LED displays to show more data. Can add a buzzer to give a sound alert when an objective is too close. We can use it in robotics for obstacle detection and parking system to guide vehicles. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching our tutorial.